Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking about the Celine Classic Box Bag. Mine is in the medium size, in the black box calfskin with the aged brass hardware. And if you are a Celine fan, especially from the Phoebe Philo era, this bag will be no stranger to you. This is the classic, that is, it's even named the Classic Box Bag. And in my mind, one of the most beautiful, most timeless, and also understated, minimalist type of handbags out there in the designer world very different from those that are monogrammed those with logos everywhere it is very discreet there's no branding anywhere in the front there's no branding anywhere in the back so it is just really really elegant and understated and I think only those who really love Celine would know this bag so this video, I'm going to share with you how to authenticate this bag because apparently the Celine Classic Box Bag is still one of the most difficult bags to authenticate and it's because there aren't many markers, there aren't many logos or branding or things to look at. It's a very simple, very, very understated bag as I keep saying. So there aren't a lot of details to really examine you would think, but there actually are. So I'm gonna show you how to authenticate the Celine bag. Now I did purchase this pre-loved from Fashion File. This is a 2017 model and I got it in excellent condition. I'll give you a close up. I think it's absolutely stunning and I know some of you are intimidated by this smooth box calfskin and it does have a little nick here, right here and some veining, but Otherwise, I think it's pristine. There's really nowhere that I can think of or see, even on the sides and the back. And I do love to wear this bag, especially in the fall and the winter. It looks really nice with big fluffy coats and scarves. I just love it, I think it's so chic. So anyway, this bag, um, there are many on the pre-loved market and I've received some comments also saying from one or two of you, unfortunately, that you purchased these pre-loved, not from the major sites like Fashion File, which is where I got mine, um, but maybe eBay or Poshmark or some other places. And unfortunately, they turned out to be fake is what I heard. And then very recently on an old video of mine where I talk about this bag, uh, one of my subbies commented and said, hey, you may want to get your bag authenticated because your stitching looks a little off and I got a bag, uh, she said, from a pre-loved market and the stitching looked similar and it turned out to be fake. So of course that set off a little bit of a red flag. Not much, I mean I was 99.9% .9 sure that this was real because I had quote unquote authenticated it myself by doing my own research. But I went ahead actually and I sent this well, I didn't send the bag. I sent a whole ton of photos to an authenticator called Lollipuff. And Lollipuff is a very well-known authenticator out there. They do Hermes and Chanel and all the other brands, Gucci, Prada, Fendi. But they also do Celine. And a lot of the authenticators, for some reason, they do not include Celine as one of the brands that they authenticate, maybe because it is quite difficult. I will say the process was very easy. I sent a ton of photos and a lot of details, but they requested more photos. I think we did three rounds of photos. They were incredibly detail oriented and incredibly meticulous, asked me a lot of questions. So I had a lot of faith in what they were doing. Clearly they wanted to be 100% sure and be able to back it up with a guarantee when they gave me their verdict. Um, it was also only $25 to do this all electronically by email. There is an option to pay $50 for like a, a hard copy certificate. If ever your item turns out to be fake, you would need a certificate like that to either get a refund or dispute it with your credit card company, right? If you were to purchase something, let's say from eBay or some other site. Um, for Hermes in particular, they do charge a little bit more. I believe it's $50 for the email authentication and then $75 for the certificate. Just wanted to give you that pricing in case you're curious, but I would highly recommend Lollipop. This is not sponsored. I just wanted to share my customer experience. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to authenticate this what to look for, and then I'm going to share with you Lollipop's verdict. So um, one of the things you wanna look at is the hardware, okay? So if you look really closely here, you've got four little kind of, 
I don't know, little dots or knobs sticking out on the front of the hardware where the clasp is, okay? And then there are screws. So here on one side you can see, I don't know if it's coming up, here there is a screw and it is a flathead screw. And then on one side here it is closed, okay? And then underneath the clasp you see there are two springs. Okay, so let me open them up. There's nothing written here on the hardware. The Celine imprint is on this raised piece of hardware. Again, really hard to see. And then the springs go all around through the inside here. So two springs on the inside that you could also see from down below. Okay, now you'd have to be really, really an eagle eye to inspect closely. It's not something I can really show you up close on camera because they're so small. Um, the inside here, it says Celine Paris. Now I did mention that mine is a 2017 model. Recently with um, the last couple of years with Heidi Slimane going on as the creative director, which I'm not really 100% pleased about. I wish Phoebe Philo was still at the helm, but um, they've changed the font and the letter sizing and all of that, so it may look a little different. But mine here, it has Celine with the E that has the little accent mark. And then if you look closely at the E's, this third line on the E is a little bit longer than the other two. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. Slightly extends on the bottom on both of them. And then you have to make sure the spacing looks like this. Okay, but again, the newer ones are going to look different. So you'd have to match it up with the date code. Now, there is there have been a lot of questions I noticed on purse um, blogs and forums asking where in the world can I find the date code on my Celine Classic box bag. It's really hard. So it's actually inside this zipper compartment here. So there's three compartments, right? Again, this is the medium size. One, two, three with the zipper. And then you've got two little compartments here. It's like an accordion. But the date code is on the inside. And because mine is black, it is like a black hole. It is nearly impossible to see. I actually needed to enlist both of my kids to help me with a flashlight holding this open while I took a picture of it for Lollipuff. But it is in here right over if it's facing you this way it's right over on the right side if you put your finger in there you may be able to feel the little imprints and you would see a letter dash two letters dash and then four digit number so again it would be a letter dash two letters dash four digit number okay that's what you would probably see in there I know it's really hard I really wanted to do a detailed video on this but it was so hard for me to even look with my own eyes in person it's turning out to be quite difficult to do on camera but these are some of the things that you're going to want to look for you also want to look at the hardware on the straps there are two screws on the inside do you see that two screws and then a little um, divot on the middle so it would have to look like this the screws look like I don't know how many sides they have but they're not the typical screws it looks like almost like a mini hectagon or something in there let's see or an octagon I can't it's so tiny I can't see how many sides they have gosh this is harder than I expected I hope this is still helpful somewhat I think the biggest thing that people um, wondered about was how to find the date code because it's not very easy to spot so again it's in the zippered compartment and it's just an imprint, it's not a tag. It literally is just like a, um, a stamping. And then also on the zipper, you should see a tiny little number right over there, the head of the zipper. There should be a little number or a letter. There should be some kind of imprint. So I had to find that and send that off to Lollipuff as well. Um, and then, oh, and then here is the Made in Italy stamp. All of the Celine Classic Box bags, in fact, all of the Celine bags should have Made in Italy stamping. And it is kind of like this slanted font. All, let me see if I can, there you go. It's a slanted font. The M is capitalized, the I is capitalized, and again, the I is capitalized in Made in Italy. So the first letter of each word is capitalized and it is quite subtle, but it is a slanted font. OK, 
Okay. Lollipuff did authenticate this. It took about 24 to 48 hours after back and forth multiple rounds of photos and questions. And it did come back 100% authentic. Yes, guaranteed. Um, also, the stitching, last thing I wanted to talk about because there was a comment on that. Um, there should be generally, if you the stitching should be very neat, of course, right? I mean, just in terms of like the quality and the craftsmanship. But on the back side, there should be a section up here where the stitching doubles up just so that it doesn't unravel. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's some doubling up here and some doubling up over here as well. So I hope that was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions down below specifically about what other things to look for. It was a little hard, as you could tell, for me to show you the little bits of details here, but basically look at the hardware, including the screws, the inside of the strap hardware, these little um, rectangle pieces here. Um, look at the zipper for the little imprint or, of a number or letter on the zipper head. Look for the um, fonts, okay? Examine the fonts on the Celine stamping. Definitely look for the date code. That's gonna be really hard to find, especially if you have a dark colored bag, but it's in there, it's in there. And like I said, it's not a tag, it's just a little imprint. Look at the stamping of Made in Italy on the inside. Um, yeah, and of course, look at just the overall quality and the craftsmanship and the feel. This should feel very smooth if you get the bat, the box calfskin. And then I always say this in my videos, but the inside is actually lambskin. I don't know if everyone knows that, but the inside should be incredibly, incredibly soft to the touch. Like, you should notice it right away. It should feel amazing. So if you don't have that kind of feeling, I don't know if Celine is coming out with different models where the inside is not lambskin. And if that's the case, then I guess that would be an exception. But generally speaking, these models, if you open it up, the inside should just be so luxurious and you should just be able to feel that right off the bat. So again, hope this video was helpful and uh, leave me a comment down below. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.